Hello, this is Aaron Rucker. My wife, Laura Rucker, is the editor of Painting World Magazine. And we had been talking that a lot of people have trouble with subscription, email, junk mail, spam, email, and some easy ways to kind of deal with that. So this video covers uh, using AOL as your email client. So I launched... Um, the Google web browser. I'll just show that icon behind there. So that's, I launched Google Chrome, went to AOL.com and I logged in. And so this is my email. So I have my, of course there's the, there's like all the different stories and stuff, but I go to the inbox and I've got some example emails here. Now you may have one situation where you have a bunch of subscriptions to things you no longer want to have a subscription to. So in this case, I've got See if I can get the right one. I've got a test email here on the top. Yeah, I've got the images there. So of course, I'm not going to tell you to unsubscribe from Painting World Magazine. That would be that would be horrible. But if you had an email from any, uh, at least in the United States, a uh, customer from the United States, a store or something that you have subscribed to, you will get somewhere in that email an unsubscribe link. So in this case, it's at the top of the Painting World magazine. So they say, just click unsubscribe at the link below. Each company can do this however they want. So that's kind of difficult, but typically, if you go to the very bottom of one of these uh, business emails, you'll see something in here about, um, you know, updates and preferences, unscribe from this list. There is a link that will take you to a site where you have to confirm getting removed from the subscription list. That's the best way to do that. If you are getting a large amount of spammed emails, okay, a lot of people go through, they'll highlight an email, then you get more options that pop up once you select that uh, individual email. Of course, you can click that little delete icon and delete every one that you want, okay, but then you're constantly deleting those. If you have real junk spam email, one way to deal with that is to, once you have your email selected and you go further along the icons, more to the right, you see this thing called more actions. If I hover over it, I'll click that list and you can hit move to. So you got this move to area here, spam, trash, save mail. If, if you move it to trash, that is the exact same thing as clicking that delete icon. If you move something to the spam folder, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these other test emails here. I'll click more and I click spam. What will happen is it will move to this folder in here. Now, I mine is empty, but you'll start seeing emails in here that are in your spam folder. So once something's designated as spam, AOL will start to block it. Okay, I don't want to actually do it here because I actually want to get all these emails here. But anything that you don't want, you can select the email, go here to the more action spot, go here and move to and send it to spam. Eventually, you may collect a lot of spam email. So you may have several here. If I highlight over the spam email every once in a while, you may want to then click this icon, permanently delete all messages in spam and that'll clean it up and that'll keep things a little bit more tidy. So that's one way. Remember, you got two kind of ways to go about doing things. If you have a subscription to someplace you no longer want a subscription, go ahead and search out the unsubscribe button to whoever you want to unsubscribe from, or you work through a little bit more and just work through the more, move to spam, and then you should not get any more emails from that. So hopefully that helps. Um, the thing that I want to talk about is there's all sorts of more details about using AOL and mail. I'm just going to open up another tab here. And in Google, I'm just going to search AOL and then I'll just say email help. And some of the top things we should get here, like in our, uh, I'm going to look for our first, see, help.aol. Yeah. So they have a variety of sources. Yeah. Help.aol.com. If you can remember that. And so they have a variety of shortcuts in their own movies and stuff that you can watch that you can kind of get a little bit more up to speed on using AOL. All right, hope that helps.